Hi everyone, welcome to this week's weekly vlog. It's Thursday morning, it's about 10 past 10. We've just been to the uh, post office, the Correos, to pick up a parcel. And we are now at Las Salinas. So we're just gonna have a little look around for some sea glass, which is one of the things I love doing. And then at, we've bought our flask with us as well, so we can have a cuppa. And then at 20 to 12, <laughs> Martin's, <laughs> making the car move now to hurry me up um yeah 20 to 12 i've got an osteopath appointment and then i think this afternoon we're just going to pop to lidl there is a kalima so it looks a bit gray and horrible but it's it's warm it's nice um the wind has died down a lot we had a bit of a storm as you'll have seen in my last vlog so yeah just going to have a bit of a search around for some sea glass have a cuppa and then off to the osteopath Well, I got a good lot of, or we got a good lot of sea yeah, glass today. <laughs> Martin was helping. And we got some tiles as well. I'll put a picture in, in a minute. Um, yeah, really good. Lovely thing to do. Probably not the best thing for my posture, but never mind. And then I was just chatting to some ladies in Spanish. And although I was very slow to reply, we, did, we got there with a bit of... Um, they were asking where I bought my shoes um, and I was, we were trying to tell them that Coraleco, we'd seen some similar in Coraleco, but they didn't have a car so they wanted to know how far it was. Yeah, and I understood quite a bit and I managed to answer them in very short sentences, <laughs> but it's, it's good practice. So I like coming to places like this because you get to practice your Spanish a little bit. Right, we're gonna have a quick cuppa now and then it's time for osteopath. Lunch today is a hummus and salad sandwich. I've got uh, coleslaw which I made in there, uh, tomato and beetroot. I've got apple, a couple of Brazil nuts and this is some flapjack that I made which I burnt unfortunately but it's still okay, so I've got a small piece of that as well for my lunch. I'm just having a cup of tea, but I'm also just gonna have sort of half of this, well, a bit less than half of this smoothie, which is banana and strawberry. I really like the one I got last week from Lidl. Mmm, that's quite nice as well. Mercadona one. That's okay. I probably preferred the little one, but that, that's not bad. So I should enjoy that. I'm feeling quite tired now because I had my osteopath treatment. She's really good actually, this osteopath. So I'm really hopeful to keep progressing. And yeah, I'll do the, sorry, the light's not very good. Do the exercises that she's given me and just, yeah, keep going with the treatment with her. I think I'm gonna see her again in two weeks time. And it's pretty reasonable. She charges 46 euros per session, um, which, yeah, it's worth it to not be in pain. We're just off to Lidl's to get a few things. Got a few bits in Lidl, some tomatoes, a smoothie. I've had that one before, I really like that one. It's coconut, banana, mango and lemon, I think. A little orange juice, some crisps. A bottle of white wine. I've got no idea what that will be like. My friend's coming round. Um, and I just didn't know which one to get. Some water, some lettuce, a courgette, a sweet potato and some black beans. It's Friday morning. I haven't even brushed my hair yet. Um, I'm just tidying up. We had some friends come round last night, which was so nice. We sat in the garden. We had something to drink. We, I made everybody some dinner. It was really nice. It's so nice to sit outside um, with the view and it's it was quite warm. So they didn't stay particularly late. Um, but yeah, it was really nice. And my friend who came around, Kat, bought me a few bits that she's not going to use, which are going to come in quite useful. So we've got some dried chickpeas and some of these uh, pinta beans, dried pinta beans. And another friend of mine recently gave me a slow cooker. So 
I think I can do some nice like curries and stews and things like that with the these dried beans because you do have to soak them but that's fine that's not a problem and I might even try and make some hummus if my blender thing is up for the job she's also given me some dried basil well, that will come in handy and some poppadoms so I don't know if they need to be fried they're cumin and something else so yeah so that's nice I look awful I need to go and get dressed um we are going to head to Rosario today um we're going to go, there's a museum in Rosario that we've not been to that we would like to go and have a look at. And also there's an art gallery apparently, so we're going to go and try and find that as well. We're going to have some lunch and just have a wander around. I really like going to Rosario and um, it's something we try to do every now and again, have a day out there. So looking forward to that. Still got a bit of a Kalima. Um, we were hoping this week to head over to the west coast, but we're going to wait and save that until the, the Kalima's gone because it's not always so nice being out walking and that when it's it's so dusty. It's not too bad, actually, this Kalima. But yeah, we'll head to Rosario and I'll show you what we're doing. This is my favourite breakfast at the moment. Granola, seeds, almond milk and fresh fruit delicious. Luckily we were faffing about because the wood turned up that we'd ordered for the garden so I'm glad we didn't go out and miss that. That's good. Another job for Martin. We're in Rosario. I'm so glad that we faffed about earlier and that wood delivery got delivered uh, because they didn't really let us know so it was it was good anyway all good we're here now in Rosario we're going to walk along the front and try and find the art gallery we're just a teeny bit lost not entirely we're just not quite sure where the art gallery is so I've just typed it into good old google maps and Martin is now in charge of finding the way it's quite warm today so we're not walking particularly fast but water with us so we keep hydrated it I mean I love it so I'm not complaining at all the art gallery was fine it's a big building actually and I suspect that in time they will have more exhibits as it were there that it was just one artist's work and I didn't film in there because I don't know I don't feel right filming in places like that so um what did you think of it Martin? I quite like the bone bones. Oh yeah there was a one piece that was all made out of like bones and skulls and obviously of um, from, from deer not from yeah not from humans but we don't think anyway. Goats, right? Goats yeah um and then there was some other bits that were all made from ash that so like um she'd collect the artist had collected wood and uh, and burnt it and then used the ash to create art so it wasn't really my style but i enjoyed looking at it interesting we're going to go and try and find this other museum now that we've not been to so hopefully we can have a look around now the museum was really good and again I got to speak a bit of Spanish to the lady who was working in there and I was trying to read and translate the information that was in Spanish so all good practice for me. I didn't know what this word meant and it means I'm not an ashtray. Um, we then went and had lunch and although I'm following mainly plant-based when we go out I tend to kind of have whatever I want and we tried a few different things. So it's a little empanada. This is called provolone and it's cheese. Absolutely delicious. Bread and a little salad. The food in that restaurant, which was called The Influencer, was really good. Um, and the service was fantastic. So I do recommend that if you're in Rosario. We'll definitely be going back actually. They really were, it was a really nice, pleasant experience. Very tasty, simple 
um, what we had, you know, like the avocado tomatoes, but the seasoning on it and the herbs that they used and the oil and the, the um, yeah, just perfect, a bit of lemon juice. Very, very nice. Nice bread. Lovely. Um, I may have just purchased a couple of new plants as well. This was in Lidl, 4 99 which is a bargain and I've wanted a spider plant but I picked this one because I think these are all the babies on it. So I'm hoping I can get some babies off it. I don't really know what I'm doing so I'm going to have to look it up and, and um, yeah learn what, what what needs to be done but I'll do that tomorrow and then I've got this one which is lovely I don't know if you can see it's got purple and, and the dark green so not quite sure where they're going yet I'm going to leave them there for now and go and have a swim because it's hot I need to cool down then it will be nearly time to sit down and watch tv I'm just making here some quinoa, some cooked edamame beans and some sweet corn and I've just added some flavour to it, so some lemon juice, some garlic, some onion powder, a bit of seasoning and a tiny, tiny bit of oregano and I've just mixed it all together and I will be having this, I'll probably have some for my dinner and also some left over for lunch tomorrow. Here it is, the quinoa mixture, which I've put in these little lettuce cups and I've just got a little bit of sweet chilli sauce. I've got some plain crisps, a couple of dates, a little chocolate and an apple. It's half past seven on Saturday morning and we're down in Coletta. We might get to see the sunrise, but it's the Kalima's still here, so I'm not quite sure whether we'll actually see it. But if we do, I will record it for you. has cleared a bit we can actually see the aeroplanes now so it Martin was right it was cloud and not um, what was that? <laughs> didn't quite catch that <laughs> yeah it was cloud not I, I, I do think that there is still some dust in the air as well um, but there's lots of blue sky as well so I think it's going to be a perfect day to get all the jobs done around the house which is what my plan, plan is for the rest of the day. I've got like loads of things on my to-do list that just little bits and bobs that I want to get done today. So we're going to head back now and I've got a Zoom call with my dad and then action. It's about half eleven now and I'm just getting on with jobs. I did a lovely Zoom call with my dad this morning and I have cleaned all the wind. I started this the other day, cleaning the windows. I've finished that and I'm just faffing about the plants now. I'm gonna try and plant my little cacti seeds and just see how it goes. I've cleared one of the window sills to put them on. So hopefully they'll like it there. Um, and then I think we're gonna go for a swim, have lunch, and then I've got some sanding down to do on another project that I've got which because I want to paint some of the furniture that we inherited because it's too dark for here so hoping to paint it but first job is to sand it down so that's the plan for today I've got a couple of other things that I want to do um, sort of admin -y things and emails and keeping in touch with people so yeah all good so I just got everything out to do the cacti seeds. As I said before, I've never grown cacti from seeds before, so this may not work, but I think the pack of seeds cost like one euro forty or something. So if it if they never grow, then oh well. At least I've tried. Lunch today was the rest of the quinoa and edamame. I've got a bit of um salad all different salady things an apple I've got beetroot in there tomato 
sweet chilli sauce, a bit of hummus, a bit of guacamole and some of the tomato crackers. I'm still just pottering about doing jobs. Um, swimming was lush. It's quite warm today so it's really nice to get in the pool. I'm just fiddling about with plants really um, and I've managed to get some of the baby, some of these baby spider plants off. There's actually loads on this plant so I should get a a good few of them and I might give some to my friends if any of them want any so that'll be good um, and I've done a few ad mini bits I've got a few things I need to order and I've got some letters to write which I'm really looking forward to doing I'm, lo I'm loving the letter writing so thank you to anyone that's written to me and um, I will be writing back soon I'm not going to mention names but you know who you are um what else it's a lovely day now it's quite um quite clear compared to how it has been the past few days turn you around show you the view there we go martin's just sorting out the um mosquito nets on the back windows on our bedroom window not sure what we're going to have for dinner tonight. I think I'm going to do some kind of like roasted vegetable pasta dish. Um, yeah, I haven't even really thought about it yet, which is unlike me. Um, I think that's about all. I'm not really... Sorry, I got distracted then. I thought that was somebody I knew going by. I did some sanding down of a table that I'm going to be painting, which I will show you as and when I do it. I'm just cooking the dinner, but I've also made some overnight oats. Um, there's soya yogurt, almond milk, oats, chia seeds, hemp seeds, frozen berries and a little dollop of peanut butter. Um, we might go to the beach in the morning so they're ready, if not we'll just eat them here. And then I've roasted up a load of veg and added some pesto and I'm just stirring through some cooked spaghetti. And I'll just have that as it is. I'm going to add some chorizo into it from Martin's. And I've also cooked, whilst I had the oven on, I just cooked some sweet potato which I'm just going to cool off and then that will go in the fridge and I'll have that with my lunches um, over the next few days. I just tasted a bit of that pesto pasta with the roasted veg. It is yum. The vegetables here are so delicious. Um, yeah, and roasting them just makes them even more divine. I just tasted a bit of carrot. I've got onion in there, carrot, pepper. I just bung some peas in, some red onion and courgette. And I just cook that with like um, some garlic, onion powder, a little bit of oil, like the spray olive oil stuff, salt and oregano. Um, so I'm going to dish this up now and then I'm going to go and enjoy it. And I'll catch you all tomorrow. We're just going to watch TV this evening like we normally do. We've been watching The Apprentice, which I've never watched the previous year's ones but I've really enjoyed it actually so far um I don't know who's gonna win I was quite surprised I thought the dentist guy was gonna win but we'll see maybe the pie man sorry if you haven't uh watched it already I won't say any more whoops but yeah I've quite enjoyed it actually I thought all the tasks that they do were were good fun we're down at the beach, it's Sunday morning and we've already done our walk. We basically did the same walk that we did yesterday so I didn't vlog it. And now we've come um, and we're just sort of perched on the edge of one of the wooden bits where the sunbeds are. We've brought our overnight oats with us and our flask. So we're just going to sit here by the sea and have our breakfast. Are you happy this morning Martin? Happy? I'm yeah. never happy. <laughs> This is pretty lush though, isn't it? Come on. Not bad at all. Very peaceful down here at this time of the day. There's a few people in the sea. Um, a few people starting to arrive at the beach. Back home now. That was such a nice way to start the day. Work clothes on. 
I'm going to paint the table that I sanded down yesterday. So I'm out in the back garden because it's shady and the paint doesn't like it in the sun, it bubbles. I know because I practiced the other day. Um, it's a bit hit and miss. I've never done this before, so never restored any furniture. Well, not restored, what do they call it? Upcycling. So I'm going to give it a go. Wish me luck. So that's the table with its first coat of primer done. And I'm going to let it dry and then put it back in situ and I'll do another coat another day. And then I'll need to get probably some chalk paint to finish it off. Then we're going to see what we think of it because that little table actually sits right in the corner. So if we don't really like it, it's not a disaster. Um, and then if we like it, I'll probably paint a lot of the other furniture um, just to lighten it all up. I've also got a couple of big mirrors that have got the similar sort of wooden surround and I'm probably going to paint them white as well. And I might even put some sea glass on them, which will be quite a big job. But I love doing all these things. So, And I want things in here to be homemade and a bit, like I said before, a bit bohemian, a bit rustic. So, yeah, we'll see. And if, if I really muck up the painting of the furniture, then we'll have to go to Ikea and buy some. But I like the idea of upcycling things and using what we've got and, you know, learning a new skill, giving things a go. It doesn't have to look perfect. As long as Martin and I like it, that's all that matters. And, you know, and I'm enjoying having a go. I'm going to now go and do a bit of editing and then I'm going to have a swim, have some lunch. I've just cleaned the car windows and I now need to sort out, well, after I've done all the things I just said, I'm going to sort out my bags, which I like to just sort of go through them and make sure there's not lots of horrible things lurking in them. All my handbags, I mean, and some of the cloth ones, I will give them a wash and hang them out to dry. And then later on, we're going to go down to the Atlantico and meet cat and watch some flamenco dancing so that should be quite fun right these are all my bags that i need to just i like to just look through them make sure there's nothing in them that i need or whatever and like for example this one needs a wash because the straps have got all dirty i have started embroidering on this one i don't like that i made a mistake and I've started embroidering a little cactus on that one. I need to do the pot. Um, but I'm hoping this one, I'm just going to embroider all over it. Just practice. And it doesn't matter if it's not perfect. But um, I only paid two euros for that down at the market. Talking about learning stuff, I was chatting to my osteopath the other day. She likes to learn new things and we've both done a degree in the past with Open University. I'm not sure what hers was in, mine was English Literature. And I was saying to her, you do know that the Open University do a load of free online, like small courses. There's literally hundreds of them. Um, I did one a few years ago, I can't remember what it was called. Um, anyway... Because I was talking to her about it, I then came home and thought, oh, I'll just have a quick look. And I've signed myself up for a beginner's Spanish one and a one about nutrition, which I kind of do know, but it's really interesting to go over it again. And because it's open university, it's, you know, it's fairly high level. So it's really interesting. So I've got a few little studies on the go as well which I'm really enjoying so hopefully this afternoon I'll get a little bit of time to have a look at my nutrition course. Lunch today is sweet potatoes, guacamole, hummus, beetroot, bits of salad, um, a little bit of almond flakes, some sweet chilli sauce and a slice of bread with some vegan spread and some marmite on it bit random but I was trying to use things up and it was really delicious actually and then I had an ice lolly and then for dinner after we got back from seeing some friends we had the vegan chilli that I made the other day with nachos guac and hummus it is 
Tuesday morning and I didn't vlog at all yesterday. What did I do? Oh, we went, did the food shop, saw a friend, did jobs. So I just had a day off from vlogging because I needed to get on with a few things. Um, yeah, we're going to go out today. We're going to head across to the west coast to a place called Los Molinos. Um, but first of all, I'm going to write a letter, do my exercises and have some breakfast. Okay, so today's packed lunch, I've got lots of like salad -y bits. I've got carrots, tomatoes, yellow peppers, I've tried to make it like the rainbow, lettuce, and then there's radish down there as well. I've got hummus, guacamole. I've got these like, they're like breadsticks with, um, with seeds on them. So I've got those to go with it. And then for a sweet treat, I've got a fig, a date, and some dark chocolate covered peanuts. And I'll probably take an apple with me as well. So I'm trying this new Outpro yogurt stuff. I'm not convinced if I'm going to like it. I've got it in here with a bit of granola, some seeds, and some banana. So let me give it a try. It's nice. I like it. <clears throat> I like it actually. It's yeah, good. First time for us coming to this museum. It looks like it's going to be quite interesting. It's quite big. There's different like buildings spread out, there's some across the other side of the road as well I think, so it should be interesting. We found the museum really interesting, I always love all the views as well and they're always really peaceful the museums here and one of the things I really like is the staff are always willing to have a little conversation with me in Spanish. I tell them that I'm learning to speak it and they always ask me a few questions and in my mind that's so much better than doing anything like Duolingo or anything from a book. So I, I was really pleased with that. After the museum we got back in the car and headed on to the west coast to a little village called Los Molinos. Now we've been here before um, and anyone that's been there will know all about the ducks. There's loads of ducks in the car park, but it really is a charming little place and it's pretty wild as well. The waves were quite small today, but when there's big waves crashing in here, it's absolutely stunning. I mean, it was stunning anyway today. So we had our little picnic that we brought with us. We walked up the cliff one side, we had a little walk around the back streets. We had a cup of coffee in the first restaurant that you get to. Um, and I really want to go to the other one, which is across the other side. Um, but we thought we'd save that for next time. And yeah, it was just really chilled. Of course, we sat and watched the waves. You know me, always do that. But it's just stunning. And the colours of the sea just make me want to paint. That's it for this week's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Take care everybody and I'll see you in next week's vlog. Bye!